All right, we're we're going old school now. We broke out the tape measure, and we're going to actually get Jen to hop on our machine. Uh, I just want to walk you through how we're doing it with the tape measure. First thing is, is of course it's on four dollies, but we're going to lift it up and take our top up number. And this step is of course imperative. So I pop the little rubber core out of the back idler wheel, tuck the tape measure, gives me a great spot to put the tape measure, and then I come up onto the running board here. So I marked off, I put a little dot here at 17 and a half inches. I want to be vertical to the rear wheel, and this works good for the trail machines, the Renegades, the MXZs, the 137 Cats, Yamahas, Sidewinders, 129s, the, the tr general trail machines. So I've got 17 and a half inches, and again we are off the ground. So I'm going to set it back down on the ground. Now that number will have gone down, it won't be 17 and a half anymore. And then I'm going to call uh, Jen to hop on her machine and sit in uh, her riding position. I, I tell her, you know, sit where you normally sit, hands on the handlebars, give me a couple of ounces so that it's a representative number. And I reach up and I take that number again. So we are four, all exactly 14 and a half inches. So that is three inches. One, two, three. So she's right on three inches a sack. Now, uh, we wouldn't, when we roll out of here, she hasn't got her tech vest on. She hasn't got her helmet, her clothing. Uh, there's nothing, there's no fuel caddy on the back. There's no 50, 60 pounds of snow in the top. So this is just a good starting point but uh, we, we want to perfect it. We want to keep an eye on it in real world conditions out on the trail. But basically that's how we do, uh, we do snowmobile sag on the rear end. Uh, and again, keeping it, keeping it up nice and high keeps it in the soft portion of the travel before it started to get too progressive and get low in the travel. We're well, well away from the uh, coupler blocks. Again, nice ride comfort and we're keeping the weight on the skis. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to move on and just show you our range of torsion springs now, but uh, that's how we use the tape measure to do rider sag.